Hey everybody, welcome to Neil Talks. My name's Neil, and it's time to talk what we do in the shadows. And and I'm already in my happy place. I am having so much fun watching this series. It's it's lighthearted. It's so hilarious, especially here in season two. I love the new storylines, the Guillermo the Vampire Killer. I can't wait for that to come to a head and Nandor and Nadia and Laszlo finding out about what Guillermo's capable of. I can't wait to see what that does to the dynamics of our household. And I have no idea what this episode's about. This one's called, this is episode seven. It's called The Return. There's something we, we, there's a potential plot that we seeded back in season one when we killed the Duke. That's his name, right? You guys know who I mean. The old vampire from the old country. Guillermo accidentally killed him by opening the front door when he was high and drunk, etc. We buried him in the backyard, but but I feel like this might be a vampire Lestat kind of deal where enough time underground, he may not be fully dead. Could he come back? Could that be the return we speak of? Pure hypothesis, but that's that's where my mind goes with this title. It's kind of an ominous title for a lighthearted show. So what would be a really interesting plot development? That's where I'm thinking. I might be completely wrong, of course, but yeah, let's find out. Episode 7, Season 2, The Return. We have just returned from the talkies. I should never have added sound. <laughs> I like to read when I'm watching the pictures, and I can... Hello? Oh. Laszlo. Laszlo, it's saying my name. You won't be able to hear that because you don't have the finely attuned ears that we do. Excuse me, good evening. Are you in the sewer? Yes. Yes, it oh. says. Come, please. We're in a sewer. <laughs> Why we're in a sewer, I've no idea. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. What in hell's house was that? Show yourself. Oh. Hello? Be you vampire? Rude. We mean no harm. We're just walking in your ship, I... <laughs> Don't worry, my darling. I shall protect you. You're just pushing me in front of you. I know what I'm doing. What? <laughs> putting me in front? Is Using human part? shield. Who is that? Vampire shield. Simon the fucking devious. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I was never in any doubt. You just said you didn't know who it was. <laughs> Simon the devious. It's his return. Awesome. No One of the best ways to drain people's energy nowadays is via the internet. This woman is a astrophysicist. Is he just a Actually, troll? Actually, this is not how space works. <laughs> Read a book. Now I just wait for the comments to come in. <laughs> These are all different accounts that I have set up. But if you do enough of it, it'll fill you up. <laughs> Shanghai sucked. Where was the Chinatown? <laughs> Jesus actually hates horses. Childhood <laughs> obesity, LMFO. <sighs> when they call you a dumbass, you know you've got them. <laughs> Women are getting too tall. Yeah. <laughs> that is racist. You're correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Oh, they hate me. They should get a life. <laughs> come, come, come in. Uh, sewer dwelling. Oh, God. Deeper than hell in. Subterranean. Hotter than uranium. Playing them from the cranium. Yes. Just tiny little Mike. Uh, where is my dear Carol? Is she here? <gasps> Good heavens. A vision, isn't she? Oh. And that is, well, about the extent of the crew now. Dapto. Are you aware that my nightclub exploded? Yeah. Um, it's the damn hat. I think my hat's probably cursed. <laughs> no. Just going to turn this off. I don't know how to play the piano, so I use a Zoom. <laughs> and now it is to my great shame that you find me here. Well, you called us. It's dead an island. Listen, this has been fantastic. Oh, it's been yeah. great seeing you. You should come around anytime. Nando would love to see all of you. 
Disgusting. He has oh, some dignity at least. <laughs> He's already here. Well, we beat you here. So we have visitors, so yeah. that's a nice surprise. Now we are here in your lovely home. Carol. Carol. Be polite. And to reiterate, do not eat. If possible. If possible, resist. don't eat gear. Well, it used to be difficult to resist, but it's like the last donut in the display cabinet. Carol, Carol, do not eat something wrong. Mm. <laughs> you want to show? Would you like to see Guillermo's room? Yes. She's going to eat him if she goes. To okay, the room. probably better not. <laughs> Guillermo would slaughter Carol. We know that much now. Time. Ah. Oh. Hello, Elvis. What? Hey, I made what? him into a vampire back in the 1970s. What? You are just such a true friend. Yeah. It's yeah. very sad to see Simon so decrepit and weak. No, it's not. Your bloody cursed stupid hat, it's ruined him. But we need worry about that anymore. We don't know where the hat is. Well, he exactly. took it. Exactly. He took it back. The hat is gone, where so is we it? don't need to worry about it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Yep. There's some kind of human nerd who is telling people to ignore me. This will not stand. I mean, he's stealing my food now. <laughs> Dumb ass. Fire. Oh, oh. No, he, he's getting to me. Yeah. Is there another energy vampire out there? In the act. There you are. The game's up, old chum. This thief. Oh. Thief, chop his hands off. Don't embarrass him. Last one, my love. <laughs> Yours forever. Uncover that now. Well, look at that. Oh. oh. I made it myself from sewer trash. It's just a small gift to say thank you. You don't need to say any more. That is so pathetic and truly lovely. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? I said I'm sorry. <laughs> the good news is you get to keep your hands. Yay. <laughs> you hear that? I know what you are. Oh. Master? You are a slayer. I smell the death on you. Oh, that, that's just my body spray. It's axe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Sound like Guillermo just took a tumble down the steps. Maybe I should, uh... Oh. Asshole. We're gonna holy water. Don't call me that. Oh, we're gonna kill her. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Guillermo. Something bad's gonna happen, isn't it? Are you? Trying to make a girlfriend out of that? No, the vacuum broke. That is a very messy but cool idea. <laughs> Reminds me of Carol. It was an accident. I'm sorry, sir. Oh, no. You killed the vampire. <laughs> very frowned upon amongst the vampire community. Is it? Frowned yes. upon, indeed. We've only got a little crew. I know, I know. It's a reduced crew. Do anything about this to anyone, understand? I won't. Because it reflects badly on me. Vampire killer. <laughs> Only joking. Clean it up. You got it. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. This is so fun. Ah. I didn't get much. Oh, geez. Colin. Well, I found his eBay profile. He used his actual email. Rookie mistake. Also, he did DM me saying he wanted to kick my ass and gave me his address. So, another rookie mistake. You really need to encrypt everything. Okay, I'm going to speed up. <laughs> Carol has gone missing. She seems to have slipped away in the dead of night, abandoning me. Guillermo, she really did not like you. I don't know why. Probably because he's such a downer. Mm. Indeed. Yes, it's true. So oh, true. Yes, I yeah. noticed that. <laughs> One final question. Yes? Where is the hat? Which hat? 
This hat? Yes. Give me the hat! <laughs> it's a cursed hat! It will be mine! <laughs> It's I could have sworn that I left that door open. Yeah, it's cursed. I want to feel the sweet embrace of a witch's finger again. This isn't about the hat. It's about the <laughs> 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 You have the hat, you bloody blogger! <laughs> <laughs> I now look at you. gone too far <laughs> i know you are here meet me in the alleyway you loser misspelled loser you loser sir chicken human this troll another energy vampire oh oh it's an actual troll <laughs> an actual troll you it's don't look troll. like your oh. online oh. photo <laughs> Excuse me, I'm a troll. I do not like the term trolling. Well, it's not really up for you to decide. I I'm sorry that people use the term trolling, Don't use the but word. when you're a troll, you and you troll then you. you're trolling. It's a bad battle. Which was last? I don't know. Go <laughs> <Let's look. laughs> Love this. Love this Human show. <laughs> it is you who is outnumbered this time. Oh, am I? <laughs> oh, shit. You, you know, remember my crew, don't you? The crew's this back. Gun Catch the zombie of my former accountant. Ah. Some of our newer members, Neil, Patrick, and Harris. <laughs> you can be a Neil Patrick Harris member on my Patreon. And Elvis. Check it out. What? Hey. Elvis. Elvis, you traitor! You only just met him last night. And Carol, has anyone seen Carol? Shh. Yeah, Mother Carol's dead. Mentioned that your vampire slater's bed. Look for me. Do you know where Carol is? Probably somewhere alive. Okay. Andor sucks. <laughs> Come on, Simon. You don't even know why you want that stupid, stupid hat. I want what Laszlo has. What you and Nadja have is true enough. enough. It's enough. You're willing to settle, and I envy that. <laughs> I mean, my crew, it does not fulfill me as it once did. Oh. I, I don't know who some of these people even are. You don't <laughs> need this very ugly headwear. It's too big for your face. It also has a giant curse on it. Well, I still want it, so... <laughs> I will. Oh, it seems as though my foot has fused with the metal when I transform. <laughs> the oh boy! Quite grisly and intense. You keep the hat. It's keep quite it. painful. <laughs> We're off. Please help me. Sorry, me and the crew ain't enough for you. Oh, I've heard Rapula and the whole crew. For Neil, Patrick, Harris. No, you can't even make eye contact with me. Carol, what about Carol? Yemo didn't kill her. Oh, jeez. Why <laughs> could you raise it like that? <laughs> Did you see how I threw the suspicion from you? Is he gonna drown down there? Why are you so interested in how vampires are killed now? <laughs> oh, I love how obtuse Nandor is. And so I just would He's like gonna turn to, to stone because the sun's rising. Or any hurtful things that I may have said to you. Oh, look, the sun's coming up. Don't you knuckleheads turn to stone when the... Yep, there it is. Rookie mistake. I am the champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, do we get a an end credit sequence here? Nope. Oh, uh, I, lo I love this show so much. Uh, great to see Nick Kroll again. Simon the Devious. Uh, it's all about this hat. I don't get the obsession with this obviously cursed hat, especially since in the interim we have had an episode called The Curse, and we've seen how negatively Nadia and Laszlo and Nandor react to the idea of a curse, and yet... 
Laszlo wants this cursed hat, which makes Simon want it even more. And oh, I love it. I, I love that he faked his reduced crew. Of course, Guillermo ends up killing one more of them, but the, the, the most interesting development in this episode is absolutely that Guillermo straight up told Nandor what he did as far as killing Carol. And Nandor is going to very poorly hang on to that secret because he doesn't want it reflecting poorly on him. Also, he doesn't want to have to bother getting a new familiar, it would seem. But Nandor knows the secret. And, but Nandor's so obtuse that, A, he's terrible at keeping secrets. So sooner or later, Nadia and Laszlo are going to find out as well. And, uh, and it would appear Simon's crew know about, or at least suspicion has been put on to Guillermo at this point. Also, is Simon dead? Can vampires drown? I don't feel like that's a valid way to kill a, dr uh, kill a vampire. I just feel he, next time we see him in season three, he's going to be even met more downtrodden. And yet he went down with the hat. Um, the hat is cursed, after all. That's probably why his foot fused to the, the sewer grate. You know, if we get a Nick Kroll episode once a season, I'm fully on board. Uh, it's sort of a great running gag. It'll sort of turn into, like, a Doug Judy episode on Brooklyn Nine-Nine, something along those lines. Um, but man, I love that Guillermo has never, like, gone in with malicious intent um, as far as killing vampires goes. It's either completely accidental or it's in an effort to save others. I mean, he was certainly a badass when they, they invaded, when the Vampire Hunters Club invaded that nest of 70s vampires. And, and yeah, Guillermo was like proper action hero in that, but it was all to save the others on the team. The primary motivation wasn't, I want to kill all these vampires, it's I want to save my team. And he happens to kill a bunch of vampires in the process. And and again, you know, he's defending himself against Carol and he just has this inherent ability. And and I love that it's telegraphed. I love that we're all anticipating. It makes it so much more fun when it happens. I, I've lost count of the I think the body count is high at this point. But uh, I don't think we even properly know because we don't know how many vampire assassins came to the house over the, the the break between season one and two. You know, we saw we saw footage of some of that, but there was definitely a break there too. But Nandor's looking at Guillermo a little differently now. And I don't know if it's if it's with any more respect or whether it's just with an ounce of fear or caution or suspicion or but but it, it's happening. Um and I really look forward to the rest of the house being told because l l let's face it Nandor's like the dimmest of our characters and Nadia she's the smart one she's the one that realized a cursed hat isn't something that you should want and and what will her reaction in particular be to having a vampire killer in the house yeah I don't know man I'm, I'm, I'm loving the development of this storyline it's just so much fun um, and then we had a great B storyline with Colin Robinson um, demonstrating a new feeding technique, being an internet troll, coming across a real internet troll, and their their showdown. And uh, how do you defeat a troll? You you make him uh, you you keep him active outside until sunrise. We all learned that from The Hobbit. So. Yeah, <laughs> he just got trapped by the stone statue overnight, you know, as he was leaving. Anyway, um, <laughs> I love how inventive this show is. I love how it keeps just exploring the absurdity of this, the, the imagined uh, archetype of the vampire. Yeah, I can't wait to see where it goes next. It's so much fun. I, I love watching these episodes because, yeah, season one, very entertaining, but it was, it, the, the humor was more, more subtle to me. I, I found myself like 
constantly just smiling and grinning at all of it. But this season, I don't know, it's just sort of found my sweet spot, I guess, because I, I feel like I'm giddily laughing half an episode, half of every episode. It's just so stupidly hilarious. Uh, and, and I love it. I'm having such a good time with it. Can't wait for the next one. Until then, everybody, take care, stay healthy. We'll see you soon. Cheers.